camera might not be angled very good. I'm just going to put it up just a little. Alright, I think that's better. I hope that's better. Let me see real quick. Hold on. Okay. I want you to be able to see my face. So, I think this is better. I hope so. Alright, so, back at you here with a, um, try not to touch the, the table too much because I shake the camera. So I'm back at you here with my scheduling. Um, I just talked about in my last video about how I schedule things, how I schedule my daily and my weekly, my personal um, cleaning and things that I want done. I have had this mom's binder for since we started homeschooling. I mean, I'm not kidding you. This thing is held up for, and it doesn't even look like, and I've used it every year. Maybe not, so, I don't know if I had it like the first year. I know by the second year I had adapted to it because I need somewhere to keep all my papers. And then my mom's binder is all my homeschool stuff, and at the end of it, I have a little mom's tab, and that is the back where I have my homeschool management stuff, or not homeschool, household management stuff. So that's where I keep that stuff, some of that stuff. But it was really hard to get this out all the time because it's kind of big and bulky. For school, it's great because it has my attendance, I, everything in here I need for my son and I for school. So what I did was I just got one of my son's folders that he wasn't using and I put household cleaning on it and inside, oh, dryer's done. Inside I have my stuff that I need for um, my household stuff. This is way it's much easier for me to grab and get to. So that's another good tip is maybe find you a folder that your kids aren't using. I mean, I mean, we usually have plenty of folders, right? So I talked to you about my daily, weekly cleaning, and just my personal habits that I want to start doing all the time. We went over that. I didn't tell you about, um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention too is the dishwasher. Um, of course I put on there daily dishes. The dishwasher just gets emptied of course whenever it needs to be emptied. That's not something I have to schedule because that has to be done regardless. So I didn't put that on there just in case anybody was wondering. Dishes do get done in the dishwasher here and by hand. But it's, you know, when it needs to be done. So, um, I have talked about my laundry schedule. I've had this laundry schedule in place for probably a good four years now. And it keeps my laundry running smooth. So what I just did is I put a laundry schedule on Mondays, mom and dad's clothes, and any towels that need to be done. Tuesdays is David's laundry. Wednesdays towels again because you know you always have a ton of towels. Thursday I do bed clothes and Friday again I do mom and dad's and if David's needs done again which so far we haven't ran into that and then towels. So um, this I do Monday's mom and dad's which would be you know mine and my husband's clothes on Monday because he works and he needs a clean wardrobe for the week. So of course ours get done on Monday and of course towels, we use a gazillion towels, right? There's only three of us and you would think there was an army here. But anyway, Tuesday I do David's. His only have to be done once a week because I guess he's just because he's one kid, I don't know. But once a week is all his has to be done. And actually when my older boys were here, there's only really need to be done once a week. I think mine and my husband's needs to be done twice a week. One, because he works. And two, there's two of us going into the same hamper, so it makes twice the amount of laundry. Towels, I do towels sometimes more than what's on here. But I just make it a point to put them down. I don't know, because they need to be put down, right? Thursday, bed clothes. Bed clothes get washed once a week, you know. So that's just self-explanatory there. And then Friday I usually try to of course get mine and dad's caught up because if I leave ours till next Monday our hamper is climbing the walls. The clothes in the hamper at least climbing the walls. David usually doesn't. I don't think I've ever run into a time when David had when I've had to do the kids more than once a week. 
and then of course towels. Now, this hangs up downstairs by my washer. I keep it down there, and the reason why I do that, I have this pretty well memorized, but there are times that I've been sick or um, hospitalized, and so my husband can look at this and keep laundry going while I can't. So it really gives, it really helps him out too. And then also, I know some people like, they don't, okay, I know some people just like have, what, lights, darks, you know, and everybody's clothes go into it. And when we, when, when my kids were younger, I did that too. The two older boys shared socks, so it wasn't a big deal. They had their own underwear, you know, they like their own characters, so that wasn't a big deal. And they wore two different sizes, so I could always tell whose clothes was suit. And of course, me and Dad, you know, he's a guy, I'm a girl, I know who my clothes are hit from his clothes. We don't wear the same socks or anything, so ours can be washed together too. And even when David came along, it still wasn't really a problem. The boys were still, at this point, kind of sharing socks. Because um, they still were in little boys' socks, you know, and all that stuff. It came about right after Dave was born. I'm going to say maybe when he was right before he was a year or so. I started to, or maybe right after he was born. I don't remember exact time. But we started implementing the everybody's clothes gets washed on a certain day and no we don't mix the hampers except for of course mine and my husband's and that was because it got to the point where my boys my two older boys got as big as my husband and they were wearing men's socks so whenever we threw all the men's so all the white socks together then all the socks would either end up in one you know Justin would have a thousand socks and Thomas and dad would have no socks or you know dad would end up with all the socks and Thomas and Justin would have no socks so it got to the point where it just kind of and then shirts you know sometimes they get shirts that are alike um, and they're all wearing basically the same size because Thomas and Justin were always real close in size so and then once they got so big they were close to my husband's you know dad's size so it was just it got to be kind of tedious um, trying to pick out whose clothes were whose. So what we did was mine and my husband's gets washed together. Each kid got a laundry hamper in their own room and when they took their baths they took their clothes to their own room, socks, underwear, everything, and put it in their own basket. And then each day I assigned a day to, you know, David's clothes, Thomas's clothes, Justin's clothes. And then they would just wash and dry their clothes, you know, they would, uh, mostly boys have dark colored clothing. Sometimes they would have light colors, and that was fine. You know, they I was I taught them to do a light and a dark load. And when that happened, um, then we had the issue of the towels. So I always kind of wash my towels separately from my clothes. I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people throw in the dark towels with the dark clothes and the light towels with the light clothes. My towels go in a separate pile, and they get all washed together by themselves. And that's just the way I've done it for actually quite a long time. I've never. My problem was when you put a wet towel and a dry hamper with clothes. Clothes can mildew and I didn't like that. So I've always had kind of a separate container for the towels and that's just the way I've done it. And then bed clothes of course. I wash the bed clothes with the bed clothes because that's the way I do that. So that's my laundry schedule. It's kind of long drawn out laundry schedule. Just so you know why we do what we do. And then I found these um, little organizer type pages and it looks like it's Christians no Kristensguide.com with a K so you might go see these are copyrighted in 2004 so I don't know if she still lets these out and this may have been a subscriber thing I don't remember. I get so much stuff. You know, s people are so generous. You know, you subscribe for the newsletters. Not only do you get wonderful tips and ideals and recipes or whatever, they send you this all this other stuff too. So it's just great. But you can check her out and um, see if they still have these if you're interested. But it just puts I put the month at the top and then it has a um, column for the day and then it has what we're having that day and the chores that I want to get done that day and then any notes that I, I don't know if you guys can see it. I was going way over there. But anyway, any notes that I want to do. So I am, this is something new. I haven't tried these yet, but this is, um, I'm starting this this week and I'm pretty happy with it so far. Today's been pretty good. I got my 
chicken in the crock pot for my chicken tacos. I got all my chores done already. School's done. I got my hair fixed and makeup on. And I got a little note over here. Um, I'm going to go online and look for some good history books for us to go with along with what we're learning and, and learning about in history. <laughs> so, now you know how I tackle that stuff and how I kind of keep it organized. I know it's kind of a lot of paperwork. I do better with lists and papers. Like, these I printed out and I don't have to print these out all the time because I have it unless I change something. But it's nice to have um, this little... I don't know what you would call this exactly. Maybe like a agenda, a daily agenda type thing to write down and to be able to mark off what I've got done. Um, so I don't have all my chores done. I still got to get the dishwasher unloaded and finish the laundry. But most of my chores are done, even my 15 minute things. Um, so that's that's that. That's that's my laundry schedule, my daily cleaning, my weekly cleaning. We've been over my personal and my daily agenda. So then the next video that I come, that will follow this video, I will show you more about my mom's binder for homeschooling and um, the schedule that I have recently just came up for with David. Alright, well again, I hope to remind you that this is just the way I do it. doesn't mean you have to do it this way. If you've got some ideals, great. Um, if you have some ideals for me. Leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. I always love to hear from you guys. And I think that's it for this video. So I'll say bye, guys. Don't forget, subscribe, like, and leave me a comment. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.